For this tutorial, we're going to learn how to graph inequalities on our calculator. Let's start off with example 1. Here we have the inequality y is greater than or equal to the absolute value of x minus 3. Well, if we're going to put that into our calculator, we need to first put it into the y equals as if we would a regular equation. So we'll put it in as y equals absolute value of x. and then minus 3. Now in order to indicate that it's greater than, we need to go over to this spot right here. And right now it's just a normal solid line, but as we hit enter, those options change. So now we have a thick line, and then now we have this like upper triangle. Well, that's indicating a line with the region above it shaded. That would give us our greater than. So now when we graph it, it'll graph the equation as normal, but it'll also shade everything above it, just like with an inequality that is greater than or equal to an expression. So here we get to see what that looks like on our graph. Now when you're graphing inequalities on a calculator, you have to make note that it will always draw a solid line for the function itself. Even though you may have an inequality that is greater than or less than, but not equal to, the calculator will not draw a dotted line indicating that the line itself is not a solution. So when you're looking at your graphs of inequalities on here, you just have to keep that in mind. You'll always see solid lines on the calculator. Now let's try another inequality. Here we have y is less than or equal to negative absolute value of x plus 2 plus 1. So now let's go to our y equals and put that in. So we'll go down to y2 and then put in negative absolute value and then x plus 2 and then close the parentheses because that's the end of the absolute value expression and then add 1 to it. Now for this inequality, y is less than or equal to. So we need to go over here and indicate to shade below the line. So we'll hit enter until we see that. So here we have this lower black triangle. That's indicating a line with the region below it being shaded. So now when we graph that on our calculator, we'll see that second inequality as well, being shaded below the line. Now when you're looking at two inequalities in the same window on the calculator, you'll know which shading is for which inequality. Because for example, with our first inequality, the shading is done with vertical lines. And then for our second inequality, the shading is done with horizontal lines. So that can help you distinguish which shading goes with which equation. And then obviously where you get the mixture between the two, that's where you have a common solution between the two inequalities. Now if we were to graph these two inequalities by hand, it would look like this, which is the same thing that we have on our calculator. Now that we're done with that, we could go back to our y equals and clear our inequalities out which it also changes our lines for the y equals to be just the normal solved line again. And that's how you graph inequalities on a calculator.